In this video, I put the new Pro Curl washes up against Games Workshop shades to see which is better. For this comparison, I used both the old and new formulation of Agrax Earthshade and Non Oil, as well as black and brown washes from Pro Curl, applied over a textured base from Games Workshop. I figured that these bases would make sense here, as it contained both detailed areas with plenty of recesses for the washes to flow into, as well as flat surfaces to test out how much they will tend or shade non-recessed areas of the model. Once the bases were primed, all I really did was apply a layer of each of these washes to the base as I would on a normal model. They were all applied fairly heavily but evenly over the entire base, and I tried to make sure I was applying each wash in roughly the same way. When editing this video together, I honestly got quite bored watching me apply these to each of the six bases, and I was running out of ways to say what I was doing each time. If I'm thinking bored editing, I can't imagine how dull this is for you. So let's just get to the results, shall we? When comparing the new versus old Known Oil, I was expecting some differences, but I was shocked with how light the new one was when compared against the old. As you can see on the left hand side, the new Known Oil just barely tints the surface and leaves it more light gray, where the old one really tints the entire base. Also, with the new formulation, the recesses aren't as dark as the old one, which is definitely a bit of a bummer. Much like before, the new formulation of the shade is much lighter than the Pro Curl wash. This is a very similar outcome to what we saw with the old versus new shade too, where the Pro Curl wash both tints and darkens the raised areas, as well as provides bold coloration in the recesses. When comparing the old formulation against the Pro Curl wash, I was pleasantly surprised as these work almost exactly the same. In fact, I'd be hard pressed to tell the difference, as both washes tint the raised surfaces as well as provide deep recessed shading. There are a few slight differences though, the first of which is that the old Known Oil definitely has a darker shade into the recesses and shadows, and it's a little more pure black than the Pro Acryl. Also, it seems like the Pro Acryl pools a lot more on the flat surfaces. You get this darker spot right here that you don't see with the Known Oil on the same flat areas. Overall though, both the old formula of Known Oil and the Pro Curl Black Wash work very similarly as you can see, and the Black Wash is a far better replacement for the old Known Oil than the new one. When I first did this comparison, the new formulation of Agrax dried super glossy and looked pretty bad. But after doing a bit of research, I only have to really shake the crap out of these bottles as the matte medium sinks to the bottom and gets kind of stuck there. So after shaking it up a bit and reapplying, this is what I got. This surprised me quite a bit, but the new formulation, when properly shaken, actually darkened the base on both the raised areas and the recesses more than the old one. It still has a bit of a glossy sheen to it, unlike the old one, but it's actually pretty good. Let's see how it compares to the Pro Grill. Honestly, I was pretty disappointed with this comparison. The Pro Acryl wash was very light, both on the raised surfaces and the recesses. And in fact, this paint seemed to work far more like the new formulation of Null Oil than the Pro Acryl black wash, which I was not expecting. So overall, I must say I actually prefer the new Agrax over the other two options here, which kind of surprises me. After the Null Oil test, I would have sworn that I would like the Pro Acryl better, but it just doesn't really do much here. So I guess I'll stick with Games Workshop for this one. I was going to say some stuff about how the Pro Curl is cheaper, but as you can't like pick it up in most local hobby stores, it's actually more expensive after you factor in shipping. So I'm going to leave that out and just end the video here.